Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of uh, Iron Fist, your unofficial Scottish Tekken podcast. Um, I say first episode, we, we, did a, we, we did a test episode a few weeks ago but this is the first proper one. We've got the overlays working by Jack and the sick logo, nicely done on that. No, thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, hi, welcome everybody to the show, should be should be a good one, we've got a lot to talk about, um, following Tekken 8 beta, uh, we talked about it last time but there's been a few more events up in Scotland namely Neutral Mania. Uh, a certain Scottish Tekken player wasn't at Neutral Mania because he was down in Birmingham for reasons that we'll get into. And uh, yeah, a little bit of talk about that. Um, I mean, I've introduced it already, but um, we can start, talk, start talking about that. Mr. Dusty. Yes. Uh, man, too good. Too good, huh? Like, uh, what, what was it? Qualified to the UK Cup by showing up, I think is, is what it was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's I, I, the first ever occurrence. I, I was told, I was told by everyone in Brum, you you've already qualified. <laughs> you just I, have to show up. And... Yeah, I felt bad because I was talking to somebody about. It. I think I was talking to AC about it, and then he was saying that to me. I'm like, nah, that can't be right. There's no way. Uh, and then on the train to uh, Neutral Mania on Saturday, I was doing. I was looking at my head, and I'm like, oh wait a minute, yeah, because Hengi can't gain any more points, and yeah, like because. What was it? It was capped at 48. Uh, this is the Belong uh, major we're, we're talking about, the one held in Birmingham, because there's two majors, EGX and Birmingham. Um, it, was, it was capped at 48, but then you got points for 32nd and better. And since mm-hmm. you, you were seeded uh, top seed because you were already top of the leaderboard, so then even... I don't even know if you had to win a game. Like, did you have to win like one game to get five points or something like that? It was some, I think so. Like, one game would have probably been enough, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, aye. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, so I suppose we could talk a bit about that event in general. How was it then? Because um, none of us were uh, there, so yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a good event. It was a good standard uh, belong event. Um, a lot of people, so it was a, it was a bit uh, tight for space and stuff like that. And uh, they put me first seed, and at first I thought, oh, this is great. This is going to be good. Uh, I could uh, play Dabby in like third round or something, and you know, meet Joker, Kane in the fourth, and then you know, try get grand finals. Little did I know that uh, my first game was a little bit trickier than that, and I was upset after how I came out. It was two one to the other guy, right? And then uh, one of the one, I think Richie was the one who turned around and told me, "Oh, he's from Pakistan, by the way." I was like, "What?" Yeah. There's this guy called NRC, so he's from he's he's a Pakistani player, and I had to research this up on YouTube, and he's he's, he's legit from the Pakistani scene. He moved over to the UK because he's taken up studies and stuff like that. And everyone was telling me, no, that guy's from Pakistan. And I just, I just sat there and I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah. That was that was. Uh, no, you yeah, go on there. Yeah. That was that was my that was my first game, and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, no, because I, I remember because we were looking at the uh, like the entrance before, and um, I, I think that a lot of time on Start GG, there's like cases where players from like different scenes will sign up for events, like not like and they won't realize it's like a offline or whatever, and you're like, oh, the guy's from Pakistan, why he's not going to show up? What do you mean? And then he lo and behold yeah. shows up. Bottom seed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was shocked when I heard it. I thought people were just trolling me. I thought he was one of the Brom locals or something like that because I never heard of him and he, he didn't seem to be around that much. And then everyone's telling me, no, he's he's, he's from Pakistan. I research it, and there he is. He's a uh, he's the Dragonov player. As a Dragonov player, yeah. Yeah. So he made it all the way to what grand finals, right? No, he made it to losers finals. It was Joker and Goldstein in the grand finals. I think Joker was the only Joker was the only one who beat him twice because he 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 ran through that bracket and once Joker put him in the losers, he pretty much. So who put like, Joker into losers? No one. He 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 won uh, without losing oh, a single set. No, Goldstein. Goldstein. Goldstein yeah, was just, the one. I was gonna say we're just taking a look at the bracket here. So Goldstein put uh, him in losers, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, the dusty here, top seed from the UK Cup, uh, top thing, man. I. It, it, it was it was it was weird because like i knew you'd qualified already and that was the main reason you were going so it's not like it mattered but still it must have been pretty shocking to like play a guy that good round one and you're like oh like i need to i've got a full battle now if i want to like get further yeah it's like good, the first good as well though but yeah. go on yeah sorry the the, for the first game i was like okay this is comfortable second game i was like okay maybe I sh- maybe i should uh um turn up a little here and the third game it was just like nope i wasn't I was just outplayed. I was just really outplayed, and I was just like, "Fuck!" I was disappointed in myself that first game because I came in with the intention of winning the whole thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. 
it just it just happens. Well, that's it, man. It's unpredictable, but it's also good experience to play against somebody from you know arguably the strongest and you know most competitive scene. Yeah, so someone made a point and they said that this is going to be good for our scene because like he'll mm-hmm. pretty much bring us up higher. He'll make us even better if we get to play him old more. Just depends yeah. what you take from it. Exactly. I haven't watched the game, but does he play pretty different from like EU style? He's more solid based. I'd I'd say he's more. He's very solid. Like I don't passive think he, then. He, yeah, he's not. Mm-hmm. I think he he's kind of drag. Yeah, he. The way I took it, like, is I think he's very analytical. I think like he'll let you take the first game, kinda, and then he'll go from there. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, one of those to get the downloads going. Exactly, because mm-hmm. he, 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 I was watching him do the same thing to Dabby because I was watching him play Dabby and like him, um, legit was the same thing. He Dabby won the first game, then he took the next two, and I was like, okay, I think he, I think he's downloading us. Aye, definitely, definitely a bit of a shock. But um, saying that though, it, it, it's good to come back from that shock. And like, I know it can be quite tough to like big yourself up to like make the losers run. But you went and did a good shot of that. Like having a look at the bracket, uh, two two DQs at the start that helps. <laughs> that, that definitely. Helps. <laughs> I, think, I think that bumped you up to ten points or something like that. I, I, yeah, I pretty much. Yeah, I, I didn't really. I think it didn't matter. I think like a few more would have been like five would have been fine anyway. But yeah, and no, I bumped you up a wee bit. I think something to maybe mention about the UK and Ireland Cup, which is good to keep in mind, which is um, which goes I get like for y- yourself, Eunice. That is that. Like, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure England are the biggest scene in terms of numbers. They have the most players. Yeah, like the sure. country's so, like population is huge, especially London. London's like a country. It's insane. So to win, well, not to win, sorry, but to qualify for this. Like the UK and Ireland Cup, like is is like a bigger it could could be looked at as a bigger feat than some of the other people qualifying. Not to downplay their mm. what they've achieved, but you know it's like it's a crazy, crazy big deal. Like honestly, mm. like if some if you had to like make an argument of what one's probably the hardest one to qualify for, I, mm. I wouldn't. I don't think you'd be wrong in saying this would be the UK and Ireland Cup because mm. of the. But but it's hard to say, obviously, because the competition, the likes of like Germany, and you know, and like Italy and these other countries are like uh, as good as England and you know Scotland. But mm. yes, yeah, the, the, the other the other thing that kind of I think played into our advantage, kind of was like um, was that I think London scene were kind of a bit broken down after the whole ELF thing was taken away, um, so they didn't get much opportunities to have um, a lot of locals. Or like have like a big tournament. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? But but you traveling is way harder for you than it is for them. They have mm-hmm. a much easier time going to, and hopefully they've learned a lesson to support other cities and other towns or whatever. You know. And so and who goes through there. Joker or Gosain? So, uh, Joker. Yeah, so I, th- I think that it, yeah, it was the it was not the grand finals was effectively a tiebreaker because they were on the same oh, amount no of points. Way. And then mm-hmm. I think what was it if we look at the bracket again? It was what. Uh, not shifting along. Yeah, no, it was up, oh wait, it's up top. Yeah, it was um, yeah, go saying sent Joker the losers and then Joker reset, so he was able to win it. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think Joker what was it his points where he won Sodium Showdown, and then EGX and, and he won EGX. Yeah, so yeah. that propelled him to second place. Yeah, and that that shows you like um like the power of the majors because like um like you compare if you look at his his points, I think it was um. Yeah, he got he got it from EGX and then Sodom Showdown, and you look at yourself, you you've got your point total from like a lot of it. Well, pretty much all of it's like contributed to community events, like mm-hmm. those trips um like those trips down to Liverpool and Manchester and like going along cl- uh, collecting points to make the final man. It's sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it is an amazing feeling, honestly. And uh, Scott. Uh, Scotland representation for the first, I think for the first time in EU Championship. I will be, I 100%. Yeah, I yeah. will be. Bilal's done very well abroad for mm. Scotland, but he's the only person ever. But not to say that we can't, but, you know, this, hopefully, you know, this is the start of, you know, like, the torch. Yeah, but, um, like. Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good, but, it's a good um, precedence to set before T8, definitely. Um, you know, going about us? flying that flag, man. It's, it's so good to see. Well, one thing is, Bolt is and I are kind of on the same boat here. Uh, maybe you, 
and units are a bit different. But when we played and practiced online, we have played and practiced against people from a lot of different countries, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, I'll, I'll just use Draconis as a big example. He's somebody as of late who's helped me improve massively, right? Um, and these people always say to me, you know, like, uh, Scotland, I know Scotland's a really good team, but you just need to do travel, or you just need to do X, Y, Z. But now this is, you know, the start of things, you know, with yourself. Yeah, and hopefully. Like, show, showing the scene, showing, the, you know, that we can definitely hang with, you know, these other players. And, you know, that's the thing, not to put any of, like, all, everyone in that EU Cup, you know, top 16, including yourself, you know, no one should be put on a pedestal, but you've all, you've all earned it in your own right. So... Yeah. That's it, man. It's, it's, it's anyone's, you know, uh, title. Exactly, man. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it because it'll just be nice seeing like all the players that have qualified and yourself, obviously. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. I, I'm probably going to get banned from like Twitch chat like straight away, just like all <laughs> caps, like emotes, like fucking let's go, Eunice. Like you know, it's a. Uh, um, I I was going to say you mentioned Draconis. He's qualified as well, do you not know believe? Yeah, he's yeah, he has. Like him yeah, and Pika. Yeah, yeah. so um, you know, players, I'll be fucking supporting them as well, players. but yeah. It's yeah. funny because I'm I'm good friends with a lot of the um, team for the Netherlands and man they were shaking their heads like so what happens if Draconis plays against you know Yunus and I was like what do you think will happen <laughs> so you no know, I'll no longer know Draconis that's, that's going to be so that's <laughs> if I I I think he's he's the one guy that I'm looking forward to playing the most because I it'll be so weird because he knows our playstyle pretty well mm. and oh, uh, yeah. and. I've played one of his guys, Buffalo Soldier, who's like I was his best of, friend. Yeah, yeah, like he's really, really fucking good, by the way. And, ah, he's um, cool. And um, it's going to be really, it's going to be pretty cool. Like Belgium versus Scotland. No, sorry, Belgium, Netherlands versus Scotland. Um, yeah, um, looks. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he yeah. and he knows and he knows how we play. So like, it's going to be in his mind, and it's going to be like knows a, how we play more than know how we play. See the see. When I like, I won't go into this for a small second, but when I practice against him, um, we had back and forth sets, and one of them he bodied me, and I was I wasn't salty because I know how good a player he is. So I was like, what, what the hell happened? What was so different? And he was just like giving me such a breakdown, and but he didn't say it was me. He was like, players from Scotland play like X Y Z, and you all do this and that and this, and it's like you somewhat like. Your, your That's a bit place. insulting, bro, man. Saying I, all players. Oh, in don't Scotland worry, play. don't worry, don't worry, because um. You may think that, right? But um, once he told me that information, you know, if I was the guy you came in and that was that. <laughs> but um, uh, I after so when he was saying this to me, which is fair enough, it's just the guy's very direct when he speaks, but I like that. So he's like, yeah, you're doing this, that, and this. But it's like, I don't think it's necessarily super insulting or negative because it's like the way that he was breaking it down. It's like it's like a playstyle thing. It's like we because I was a good, I was agreeing because he was like. It wasn't necessarily a habit, it's just like the way the scene plays, but you do see that. It's like, if you go down to England, certain players play more like this. If you go watch the you know the Pakistani scene, you know, the Korean scene, it's like they're more up to this kind of way of winning because it's like their version of the meta game. So I found that like super interesting. Yeah, like I think Draconis as well has had like a pretty, from what I've heard, has had a pretty good impact on the Scottish scene because he's been helping yeah. out Aiden as well. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent, yeah. And the funny thing you talk about, like him being brutally honest, that's just Europeans, man. Yeah, the, 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 some of them, the, the, yeah, man, no filter. <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's legit. That's a we we in the UK we like to sugarcoat things a bit too much, but see over there, yeah, like in sometimes, Europe, sometimes yeah, yeah, depends. They, they're just <laughs> too brutal, man. Bullshit, yeah. no, he's from the Netherlands as well. <laughs> Only a name, bro. Only a name. <laughs> Aye. So, do you want to talk about our event then? Yeah, uh, yeah. before we move on to that, I mean, we can't... I, I don't really know how much is known about the whole arrangement for finals. Yeah, that, that's but, a good um, point, though. What what defines the Scottish play style? I don't, I don't know this sort of... Uh, what do you, what, why don't part? you try and... Why don't you tell us, maybe? Because you've... You're one of our better players, so it'd be interesting. What do you think the Scottish play style plays like? I mean, I, well, I think I think we, we all play pretty differently. Like, what's what's a? I mean, you can say like EU all plays somewhat more like similar in that we take more risks than other regions. Mm. But trying to define like, I feel like me and Jack don't have a similar play style at all. I think. I, I, yeah, I'm not saying like definitive. Like to, we to, all play exactly like this, but I mean like there's certain habits that we all kind of share because we all play against each other, and it's like we expect. I think like 
some we're, we're bad at we're bad at blocking those. We're so oh. bad at blocking those. Who, 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 who exposed that? Where did this come from? from? Where did this come from, bro? <laughs> Well, okay, 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 okay. So, what's 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 the sort of what sort of tendencies we all have then? Uh, bad, 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 bad low blocking. Uh, all right, bad, I, I think Aiden it. is very good at at, at, at sniffing out lows, uh, and so is Grim specifically. I think we're all bad at blocking uh, Lars down back four. I think. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bad that's, one. we're bad at playing as Wesley. <laughs> clearly, like bad, bad at blo- uh, launching Aska too fairy, You know. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, your face, man. Yeah, we can move on to that in a second. Because uh, neutral mania, like you say, Jack, just was uh, mm-hmm. passed recently. Um, so, without giving too much away, I think you uh, obviously the Dusty's qualified for you finals. That's sick. Can't wait to watch a minute. Um, I, I'm assuming it's next month. I think it'll be next month at some point. More details. Yeah, about it's, that soon. It's, uh, it'll be released on the weekend, but um, okay. it'll be okay. Oh, this weekend, nice. Well, no, the details. No it's not. It's not on this weekend. But like, I think. No, no. I mean, yeah, that's. Decent, I mean, yeah, yeah. like, cause I didn't. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Nah, I, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that, man. It's gonna be sick to watch. Uh, we're trying. <laughs> it's gonna say funny. We just send the whole squad over with him. It's like he doesn't know. <laughs> we just know we show up in the last day with like a flag and that. Um, I would. I would love that. I would honestly love that. I, I, cause I, I like some support. Support. You know what I mean. I mean, we're all we're all gonna be getting banned on Twitch chat anyway. You, you just know that's gonna happen straight away. Like uh, all the spam emotes and that, but. I know, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Well, well Me versus Draconis is going to be sick. Man, yeah. I hope that matchup happens. That's the dream matchup, honestly. Yeah, if there's like a group pick thing, you, you need to aim for that, definitely. Nah, yeah. If it doesn't happen, man, you just have to make it a grand final. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hey, Hachi. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, well. See what I, mean. I, was talking, I was talking to, you know, Brahim for Belgium. I was talking to him yeah. about Hey, Hachi, and we had a good moan about that one. That for ages. Was a long day, man. Got wow. mm. Aye, so like we say, all looking forward to that. But uh, it was sad that the Dusty wasn't in Scotland because on uh, also on Saturday, switched off the plug. It was neutral mania. I need, Ooh. I need to see this. I, I yeah. haven't even seen the brackets for this. I need to see who lost to who. Well, there's yeah. de- there's def- definitely some upsets. I'll tell you that much. It was the so it was the last um pro- probably I think it's safe to say the last Tekken Seven major in Scotland. Um, yeah, a lot of the big players out. Not as many, not as many as we would have wanted, but still a lot on that case. Um, and a lot of the uh, stronger players we had, obviously Peace Man, Wezers, yourself, and the. Uh... Oh damn, Jack! You're the one who put Aiden in losers. Yeah, nice so played. nice you played. Thank you. Wow, you know, I, I assumed it was Wesley. For people, yeah, so for people that don't know about the Peace Man, uh, Aiden, I'll quickly um. Give you a wee synopsis. So at the moment, he is the number one player in the country. Um, doesn't lose very often when he plays in Scotland. He hasn't really travelled uh, outside. I don't Scotland. know, bro. I don't know, bro. Like if you actually count up, I mean, what does the Glico say? I mean, now that Wesley's won again, I think he's still he, number he, one. Surely is he? Um, well, yeah. actually, uh, I, I, he? I've got that. I mean, I mean, has has, yeah. has Aiden won a tournament offline? Yeah. Yeah, when he's which one did he won? He's no, won like in the, in the, oh, I know, recent. like in in the, in the past, like in the past, like year. He won the tournament after I won. He came. Well, he won that, that tournament for the UK Cup. In the UK Cup, first got announced. He won that next tournament for the last year's mm. UK Cup. I remember that because I came third and Jason came second. Um, so just a bit of context for any viewers that have seen this. Uh, this is our uh, bracket system where we we've got all of the offlines inserted into this. So it just calculates all the elos and the gly- the like the glycos and just compares all the uh, all our players together. And here's how it's looking at the moment. I don't. And we might have one more event to add to this, but this is pretty close to what it'll be for the year. So you can see the rankings here. We've got Peace Man up at the top, like you say, followed closely by Wizards. I think that's. Fair from all of the off performances, but he's won like so many brackets this year. Um, yeah, um, not much more to say about the bracket. Uh, so, so it shows you the changes from the last, um, from like the just in neutral mania. So, once neutral mania got put in, put in this happened, Jack, <laughs> fuck's sake, <laughs> man, count people above me, count yourself lucky I didn't attend a lot, all right? Yeah, coming for that, coming for that top three. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, see I'm, me in Tekken 8, Eunice. I'll okay. see you. Well, you, you better not be whiffing whip, at range 3. I'll be launching your ass. 
<laughs> Dude, I am, I, I'm clicking on that top 10 for life. Man. Is it possible to whiff in this game now? Not against Jack, man. You know, with the latency being better and fall for one plus two, man, it's so good. Everything was just getting whiff punished when I was playing both the betas. Was Jason at this tournament? No. No, so this was tournament Kerber. was... Nah, Kerber didn't bother either. It was, it was me, Wezers, Greg, Alistair. Um... Yeah, it was mostly it was mostly new school, really. Or like, yeah, oh Sagax as well. Let's uh, see how Cameron, the new Cameron as well. So Sagax lost to Aiden and Cameron. Cameron's been doing oh damn, Cameron twirling Wildo. Man, I don't want. Yeah, Cameron had a really good set know. against me as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, For people that don't, Adam Moose was been doing doing pretty well. He got a game on Aiden. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah our, our player Lil Nut uh, was a player who lived in Korea for a while. So, definitely um, has a lot of respect for the Korean scene. Uh, uh, crazy Kazoo player. Yeah, Lil Nut um, started roughly about the same time I did at RD Locals. Um, pre- definitely my, my training partner for all of most of Tekken 7. Um, it was good. It was good getting one final set in tournament, maybe. Maybe we'll have one at RDE. I don't know if we're having an RDE bracket for the. 48 comes out and they see but um i know i got i got i think it was it, the two old but it was close you know that, that kind of thing <laughs> like it was um it was a uh, we just went for the classic um because you make against kazia matchup and i've played that thousands why don't of you go, go through the bracket and we'll talk about how the top eight sets went kind of thing we'll right, go maybe that the, idea. like go for the vault yeah so get the bracket up and then we'll just see like this set went oh, like okay, this yeah, or yeah, yeah. like a synopsis for people who missed it but the VOD, the VOD should be going up on YouTube if you're interested. There's some really good sets in there. Yeah. And uh, so if we're talking, if we're talking like purely top eight. Yeah, we'll just go based off top eight, I guess. Yeah. Like. Aye. So, well, my side against Aiden was first, right? So, um, aye. Aiden was top seed. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, we play like a lot. He's the person I play against the most. I reckon he plays against me the most. Um, as of late, I've been playing against Draconis a lot as well. So, yeah, it was weird. He played Nina. Nina's um, like maybe a slight matchup favour against Jack. Her back four is really strong in the matchup in particular. Um, so it was really interesting. But I don't know. It was just, I think I just went for the hard reads. I was really going for the mind game. Been watching a lot of Joe Crush. Um, I have a lot of respect for Joe Crush and the way he plays the game. So I was trying to implement that kind of play style because I'm very normally passive. But, you know, I was like, I was proper dashing in his face, going for like the duck into mix up. That's, that's, you know, just trying to like put the pressure on. That's funny because I think um, on commentary, uh, Alistair, Bands of the Kai, he picked that up like quite quickly. Mm. Like after the first game, I think it was like, okay, you're in the driving seat, you want to keep that pressure going. And it worked out. Yeah, really that's the thing. The end, yeah. I, I think um, when you did play you against somebody... both games, yeah, he did. Yeah, against my Jack. So the the first game was very close. Like it could have went either way, but I won it. Um, he whiffed at the last second. I down forward to them, took him to the wall, and killed him. Um, but in the second game, um, I, I didn't have much thought in my head because, to be honest, before I played him, my mentality was that like I didn't really care how I done. Like I'm playing against somebody who is, you know, quote unquote better. You know what I mean? At the game, someone who's performed better than me in tournaments. So I was like. I can only I can only gain something good for here if I win. If I lose, whatever, you know, I'll just learn from it. So I was I'll just play how I'd play at home. So I noticed he was freezing up. So I just I was like, you know what? Um I'm going for the raw mix up. A lot of Jack's uh, options from Crouch that are dangerous are lows. I was like, it's more likely he'll duck. So I just went for them, you know, I launched them straight away and then I just rid the momentum since. So it was a lot of times he was freezing up. So I was just multiple dashing in his face because I I you know, it's stress anybody out if you're losing a set of winners when you're in top eight. So just trying to go for the main game at that point and it worked out. Oh, hold so on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You, you made Aiden freeze up? Well, honestly, you was stressed as anything. Like, see, uh, especially, like, I think I'm the only person that's ever done this in tournament. See, in um, losers' finals, I, I was like, last decision, 3-2 uh, last decision last round, he bet me. I wasn't that bothered. I was like, ah, fuck, you know, that was close. I could have won, you know, um, I have to look that back. You know, I made so many mistakes. That's what I was thinking. And he was like, fuck you, fuck your stupid robot. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was just like, I was like, I said, listen, man, I said, uh, if I'm going to, if you're, I'm going to get you that annoyed when someone asks you who's good in Scotland, you know, the first name to say. And they was laughing. I was just like, fuck it, hell, bad. Like, did something, not expect that. I was going to say, I'm something. picking the robot next. I'm picking the robot next against Aiden. That's just the stupid I'll teach you. I was going to say, something that was interesting about that was, um, 
so, so Peace Man, like he's he's known for his cat reader, right? But he's also known for playing like so many other characters, and like got definitely got like a big like uh, character pool. He doesn't necessarily pull all of them out in tournament, but he does sometimes. And like uh, like you say, he played Nina in winners, um, but mm. in losers, I think he most. I'm pretty sure all of his losers run was with Asuka. And yeah, I think he went Asuka a lot because he's yeah. just been playing online, so it's just familiar to him. Like yeah. um, for watching, uh, uh, sorry. For- Trying to get used to Jin, probably. Maybe, yeah, yeah, that as well. Yeah, with some of the techniques, like, uh, mm-hmm. will stand in 1 plus 2 being a key one. Both characters share that. Oh, so, he knows, he knows. <laughs> ah, exactly, knows, so that's knows. what I mean. Like, um, so maybe, he's, yeah, both got a good point. That was, that was probably it. Mm. But, I remember I was on the Twitter, and I saw, like, uh, like Aiden was at a Newcastle tournament. Mm. And, uh, he? The, yeah, he was at, no, this was, like, years, like, two years, two, three years back oh. or something. Mm. And, uh, they're, they're, they're putting out the winners along with the characters they use to win. And Aiden had like a quarter of the cast. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like his post was a quarter like, of the cast. Yeah, I was like, like, it was like Peace Man, Kat, Nina, Asuka, yeah. like Lily, like yeah. It's just a big line of like every character, yeah. I'd love to see somebody else who plays waifus like an exhibition against, you know, Peace Man. Yeah, you gotta like, be but I'd, I'd love okay, to see it. Yeah. I'd put money down on the piece, man. I'd love to see it. I'd, I'd love to watch it, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. I'd be super hype. I don't know why that's not been done. Good content out there. Mm. But no, um, that was the first game, and then what? You played Wesley and the other half of the top eight, right? I, I was going to say, I, I don't know if I necessarily want to go through every game. Not not just because I got bodied. I did get, I got smoked. I got absolutely <laughs> smoked. But, uh, yeah, no, just, just briefly, uh, briefly on that, yeah. Last time I played Wesley in tournament, it was, uh, I think it was at the, it was at the bar, like the old um, Eagle Labs, I think was the venue for the last match. Right. Uh, you know, it was 2-1, it was Kazumi against Lars, it was pretty close. I was like, oh, you know, if I just come in the same way for this one, it should be quite close, you know, poke him down, you know, doesn't, um, not overextend. Uh, smoked, 6-1. No, I didn't get a look in. Did you do, did you do your neutral down four? Did I do my down four? Uh, no. That's probably that's probably what the issue was. <laughs> I got I, I think I, I pretty much got counter high by like every key every big low. Like down back four, uh whatever the silent entry one is, like I was just getting mashed up. It was not good. Um and Wizards is the kind of player that'll do that to you, man. Like you will not play the game for how who knows how long and he'll just come back and like win the bracket. Well, I interviewed him after not to interrupt you yeah. about that. I was like, "So what's what's the deal? Like, how are you able to win tournaments? Won Edinburgh, which was one of our bigger tournaments. Now he's won this tournament um, against people like Peace Man. I've been practicing, you know, trying to improve regularly, and he comes in and bodies us. I was like, "What's you no? Know, what are you doing? Like, what's the mindset in that?" And he just said that he thinks that. A lot of people are maybe stressing themselves out, thinking I should play like X, Y, Z, or trying to learn from somebody else and be like, they're playing like this, this is how I should be playing. But he's removed all of that. He's just like, I'll just play play how I think I should win right there in the moment. Mm. So I feel like that's been helping me out a lot. Yeah, he's Which not... it's quite interesting. Not a lot of people will think like that. Yeah, he's not got a lot of stuff like, hold, like holding him back. He's just, he's just playing the mm. game as it is, like in front of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's such yeah, a it's, it's... Yeah. But sorry, that would be the case when you don't have a lot of amazing players that play your character specifically. Like, there's not, mm. there's not like a. You couldn't say who's the best large player in the world is off the top of your head. Yeah. And uh, not so really, he's, yeah. he's, yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's like the same for me as well. Like, there's no, there's legit no Josie players. Well, there is, but you wouldn't be able to say off the top of your head who's the best Josie player mm. out there. Well, Jack's a weird uh, situation as well. So typically, Anakin does better than Joe Crush, but I feel like Anakin would do almost as well on anyone. He's just an amazing mm-hmm. tagging player, and it's like I feel like a lot of people as well when they play against Anakin just shit themselves. They're like, "Oh no, I'm playing Anakin," and then they just play into his hands so easily, and the guy's just hitting you know the standard stuff, and it just like completely carries him through these games. Not that he's a carry player, obviously he's a, he's an amazing godlike player, but um. When you watch something like Joel Crush, you actually see a bit more of what the character can do. Mm. Mm. I know, but that's interesting. Yeah, Wesley, man, definitely. Like another win. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, I think it's three on the bracket. I'm pretty sure it was actually three two, like final round, final hit. I think. Mm. If, by the way, if you can go back to the vod and watch this, anybody, anybody who's seen this, I, I would recommend it absolutely. Uh, it was the final round, final hit, reset. It was even like. I think Wizards got put into rage and like Peaceman still had like a full bar pretty much. 
and then out of nowhere mm. he just like, was able to come back and get like four down back fours in the one round it was like we, we joke about it all the time but he just he just has an uncanny sense for like placing his lows like that and just not being scared it's like you say like not not being like he's not held back by like a lot of like oh i shouldn't do this yeah, it's risky yeah. you know like yeah not even that even like the pressure of winning like a lot of players um mm. Like you'll see, they'll go. They're very good in their own scene. They're very good online, and they'll come offline, or they'll go international, and then they'll just get bodied. And it's because they're putting all this unnecessary pressure on themselves. Or Wesley's just like you know, he he just sees it as pu- purely a hobby in a game, mm-hmm. which you know super benefits him. Yeah, for sure, man. And that was what led him winning potentially the last. Uh, I keep saying potentially. It's the last Tekken Seven major in Scotland, and yeah. now we're just all looking forward to T Eight, man, and. It'd be interesting to see. Lars is looking good in T8, so you know, good. He could. He's got. He's got. He's got. He's got, he's got yeah. He's got six. He's got six skins as well to go with that. Like uh, his his presets are really good. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, there's this there's on you go. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say I'm, I'm interested to see how closely the start of T8 matches how T7's been ending in terms of like the players and the characters showing up. I think we'll, we'll, we'll gonna change completely, man. Completely. Okay. Yeah. I think it's going to change completely. I, think, I feel I, like, I mean, like, if you look at Street Fighter 6, bro, like, how how much it shook up the top players. Mm. Like, I think, it, I think it's going to be yeah. similar. Well, I mean, Tekken I, 8 yeah, is a yeah, more yeah. different game, I, I, isn't it? I think Tekken, uh, a closer game. Tekken in terms of, like, legacy and, like, the movesets and stuff, actually, the way it carries over yeah. is a bit different. I but, think, yeah. I, I, See, like, that exhibition as well, sort of turned up, but some, like, you could oh, actually notice, like, maybe some players weren't playing the absolute, like, best or hardest, right? But you could somewhat notice that, like, some players were catching on to the system or the strengths of their new characters quicker than others already. Mm-hmm. And it's like what Bolt's saying. Maybe it might not necessarily be like their characters better or whatever, but it's like catching on to the system and whatnot is really going to like benefit you so quickly. But you can't just like, for example, like Jack 7, you can't play Jack 7 and Jack and Tekken and 8 and get the same results because the characters like, all of these like nuances have changed and you know, it's like a, pretty much like a rework of the character in a sense. Aye, so we're we're, spe- we're talking about the future of like T8 in Scotland and such, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out if we can get this up. Okay, so uh, T7 comes out. T7 comes out. Yeah, fucking five years ago. Right? <laughs> uh, T8, 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 com- T8 comes out um, on the. I think it's the twenty fifth. It's the Thursday, isn't it? Weirdly, it's the twenty mm, sixth. Is is it the Friday? I, I mean, I, I remember seeing something. About yeah, Friday, I think it's twenty sixth. Like, okay, so, so it comes day out day after. Aye, so it comes out on Friday, twenty sixth of January, and the day after, up in Inverness, is going to be. I mean, effectively, it's the launch event for T8 in Scotland, and yeah. I'd... So it'll be a Saturday, the event. I'm going to try and go to that. Yeah, I'm yeah. I hope to make it as well. Um, it's also great to see that they've um, got a nice uh, prize pot for us as well, a nice incentive for yeah, people yeah. coming out. Aye, right, Caledonian Clash, I think um, a fairly new scene in Scotland. I think they're just over a year now. Um, mm. Yeah, now we've been a, obviously a school panel. They, they came, they came to... They came to RDE, didn't they? The last one. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of them Venice players um, have been to recent RDEs and they were at Edinburgh. Um, you know, Pingu Taro is a Street Fighter Six player. Uh, if the lucky Skull Panda's taking a trip to America for no reason. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just hoping that Robbie's away <laughs> that, that weekend. <laughs> just, just you'll, be, you'll be playing against Cody instead. <laughs> Him and Jackie Tran, you no know, beating their asses. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm definitely I. I I, I think I'll be making it to this. I, I don't. I can't see any reason why I wouldn't. And I'm, I know a, a few of the Edinburgh players are going to be definitely be making the journey. It'll be interesting to see, man. It's a new scene, um, like a newer scene. So it'll be interesting to see all the Scot- Scottish players, the attacking players that are there. See how many players from Edinburgh and Glasgow travel up. See. Well, I hope everyone. I hope they ban me from the event for everyone's sake, all right? All right, okay. So, so, put, so put, I'm put saying. Putting the gauntlet down, putting the gauntlet down. Aye, that's all, that's all I'm saying. You hey, know, man, you, increase ball cry, increase everything. There's only, there's only one some month. cheap event, bro. I only, swear, bro. It's going to be, everyone's just going to do gimmicks and shit, bro. Everyone's yeah. going to be punching the, the desk. Yeah. Playing as Jack 8, they're going to be like, plus this. <laughs> you're going you know, you're, you're to do the classic, where like somebody does like one optimized combo, and you're like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Like, it's not like they played the bear. It's like mm, you've been. You've been playing a bit more than just the bear. You know, like uh, uh, the, yeah. Man, it's so deep, man. I've got like what sixty hours into this beta, man. Everyone's gonna be staring at me. Yeah, like do one decent wall carry into damage. It's like hmm, 
Interesting. I'm going to call the TO over right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to he's going to he's going to do the Arsenal Ash smile during like oh my like, oh. god, that was so funny, man. Like he just like he was like two zero up against Nier when we were like six zero, and then he just cuts to his face. He's like cheesing like mad. <laughs> nah, he done the same with Book as well. At the end, it was like Arsenal and Ash is your weather, and Arsenal's just like. <laughs> nah, that's that. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's the same. I think the rest thing. of them wanted to hit the desk. I think the rest of them just wanted to hit the desk after that. Yeah. Like the. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Man, I feel so bad for Saint Man. He didn't play that well with Jack, and he knew he didn't. And then he was just like, "I want to apologize to all the Jack players." <laughs> <laughs> Your guy, man. That's so bad. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I wish you never said that, but I wish you just picked a different character. Um, rough. I, I suppose while we're talking about the evil exhibition, the full players, uh, TWT wrapped up a few weeks ago. And now we've got our our list of the final qualified players for finals in New Orleans. Uh, just yeah, um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. T- TBT finals is always a good watch. It was good being there in Amsterdam last year. Um, it's definitely it's going to be a bit different watching on stream as always like, compared to actually being there in person. Being being there in person was fucking draining, by the way. Like it's like mad like ten hour days like sat in the fear watching God knows how many games in a row. Like I don't know how the players did it. Um, the LCQ will be fun as well. That's always my favourite part of it. Yeah. Especially like, you know, the top five or whatever when it's tens and everyone is just dying for a spot. Oh, yeah. I don't know how the format worked. Maybe top three gets through or whatever. I'm not too sure. But yeah. Uh, uh, something like that. I hope the format year, for yeah. LCQ works better than what we had last year. We had our first game, right? And then everyone was telling us to get off. <laughs> oh, oh, the bracket that's shuffle. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did you remember yeah, that? that yeah, one of the yeah, funniest. It's so funny. Uh, a couple of people came up to me complaining about how they, they won their first game and they had to like do another one. <laughs> Oh my god, this so oh. yeah, let's let's hope that let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, Yo yeah. guys, apologies. I'm gonna have to to, 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 to balance, but I'll let you guys keep talking, all right? So good, thank you for joining. Yeah, for good us. man, thanks for joining. Yeah, right. yeah. No problem at all. Catch you guys. See you later, my man. Bit. But yeah, nah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's gonna be uh something special for sure. Yeah. Um I mean it, it's Do you know what that list is? do you know what that list is missing? What was missing? Me. Ooh. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that what we're going to do next year, man? Are you, gonna... are, are you taking a flight to New Orleans? Is that what you're saying in January, yeah? Oh, no. No chance. No <laughs> chance. I was, my, 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 my whole family and, like, uh, even my girlfriend's, like, she's like, you're spending too much money on traveling. You're spending too much money on traveling. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Nah, but then, but then when, you win, when you win EU Cup, you use those winnings to then go to New Orleans last night. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah, yeah. that. That that was my that was my selling point to them. It was like I could win ten k. <laughs> How much is? Jeez. It's a ten k. Wow. Okay. Jesus, yeah. that's that's pretty penny. I think if Liquipedia was correct, uh, I think like you get like X amount for just like being there, like for qualifying. I'm not sure how much it is. Yeah, yeah. you'll get you'll you get, get money you, surely. You get, aye. Um, aye, ten pence. Aye. Ten pence. <laughs> I have one pound mix up, man. <laughs> yeah. Here's a quid, mate. Thanks for trying. Even worse say, for like, right. the Italian players, they just still get a ten pence. It's not even like <laughs> not even noodles. <laughs> it's just a ten p. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I guess so. We've talked about Neutral Mania, UK Cup, and everything, um, TWT finals. We're speaking a wee bit about the Evo Showcase, and of course, mm. the purpose of the Evo Showcase. As well as like showing games in T8 and that was also um, to show off the final character and all the reveals for T8. Now, I was gonna say before we get into that, do we want, maybe want to take a wee five minute break, see if I can sort the overlay out, and then yeah, sure, that back. sounds good. Because because there's yes, because there's someone I want to talk about after this. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll someone get, I want to talk about. We'll, we'll get back to the, the two newcomers and a wee bit. All right. Okay. All so, right. See you in a sec, everyone. Right. So as I was mentioning, there was the evil showcase. Um, for T8, which was shown off some games for all the past Evo champions. Nice to watch, fun games. Uh, Arsenal. I loved watching it for saying so cool. <laughs> Not nothing, nothing really much changed in terms of uh, like tech and, and the fact that like Arsenal just dominating. But yeah, mm. cool, nice. Yeah, I really wanted to see. Mm-hmm. I really yeah. wanted to see. I really wanted to see T- uh, Lohai's like T8 law, but he it, to me it just felt like he was playing T7 law more than T8. Mm-hmm. Tayo, do you know what I mean? And I was really looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean it's it, it, it's tough to guess how many um like the, the certain players won't have like practice free characters for T eight maybe like maybe they'll, they'll have just focused on like maybe Lohai just played Brian like all the bears we don't know 
because um, mm. I have enough free free characters like ready for that. You know, so some were looking better than others. Like, mm. so they're perhaps they're quite hard. Um, but so after a million slides, uh, seemingly, thank God I wasn't watching it live. I didn't stay up to watch it live. There was no way. I think it must have finished about like five or six in the morning for EU time. But no way. I was working that night shift. I was working that night shift, and I had it. I had it like uh, on on the go while I was mopping and hoovering oh, the floors. Oh, so you, you had it live, <laughs> eh? Nice. Okay. But I had it live. Yeah. I had it live. Yeah. Um, I so like I just woke up in the morning. and I was like, don't don't send spoilers, please. I need to see what's happening. But, you know, do you know people in the chat were saying that we were thanking Arsenal and Ash for for hurrying it up. Yeah, Arsenal wanted to see the reveal <laughs> clearly. Like he just was like, right, <laughs> guys, I need the trailer now. We we can't be we can't be bored with this man. Um. But I so we had the rev- the reveals I should say because uh, a few weeks prior we had the reveal of Victor, our second to last uh, second to last character in addition to Reyna at the Evil Showcase. And can I just can I just quickly say uh, leaks suck and it's very very annoying and I can't imagine it's good for the devs either. It must be like quite disheartening to have pretty much the entire roster out right before Evil. Like that was tough. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys got caught by the leaks before the official reveals, but yeah, I think we all, I think we did, you know, and I. But yeah. it's like it's so weird because it's like I think it's just going to happen more and more in this day and age with like bigger people for these bigger projects. Sadly, yeah. yeah. The thing is, the thing is, though, like you didn't like like the leak. I, it wasn't that bad to me because it's like I didn't get a clear view of what they looked like at all. Like I didn't, it, yeah. nothing was clear at the moment. So when the trailers came out, like that was, it still felt that hype to me. You yeah, know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I may have not been that bad if like some of them had like character descriptions and stuff. But yeah, not all they did. They did really good work in the trailers. The, yeah, mm. the new. I think there was character descriptions leaked for the newcomers as well, which was like annoying because like we'll we'll talk about Reina in a second, but having like the moment in her trailer where, uh, where she's facing off against Kazuya, like seeing that for the first time yeah. without knowing any further comments, that would have been insane. Like it was still cool. Yeah, that would have been sick. Um, like I think, like regardless of all that, they're still really good at shooting the trailers. Because like when when I first heard about Victor, I was like, oh, you know, it's kind of it's like whatever. Like I'm sure it'll be cool, but you know. But then, like you say, you see the trailer, you see the voice acting, the music, the stage. That stage is that's probably gonna be a, like a. Favorite. That, st- that, that stage, stage, stage is so absolute good. peak. That yeah, stage yeah. is peak. Do you know? Do you know what they said? Do you know what they said they did right? Like um, so they're on a boat right, and the boat is moving. So. Whilst you're fighting on the stage, the whole stage is like moving as you guys are fighting. It's, it's so peak. And on top of that, right, you, the, the background setting is just amazing. Like, I love the color of the, the colors that kind of blend well together with the, the Eiffel Tower in the background as well. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then, 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 then they hit us with the music. The music was, I think, see that, that background OST, that, that was the best stage music out of the whole game. I like what they're doing, where yeah. they're referencing older music. Like they had like the OG Kazuya slash Devil for the Reina trailer, and then they had Helipad for the Victor one. But they're, like they're taking what people love and then amplifying it to like modern. This is so like whoever whoever made the music for that for that stage needs a raise, or they need to be hired back for Tekken Nine or Tekken Tag Three <laughs> because that that was that was complete that was awesome, man. And then you have the mm. character itself. Like he just looked immaculately clean. Do he's so I mean? controversial, isn't he? Like I, I like him. I think he's cool. Like I, I'm definitely want to try him out. But there's a lot of people that hate the idea because he's so like flashy and he uses four weapons and all this, you know. But nah, the I thing is, yeah, I definitely like the thing, thing is, people people are complaining about like him use like having weapons and all that kind of stuff. Like we have like your fucking Yoshi Mitsu with the sword since fucking Tekken One or whatever, and then you have like. Mm-hmm. And then you you've had like fucking wee dinosaurs about this fucking size, like this fucking <laughs> size, right? All gone. Yeah. yeah. And then, and and we're at the point now we're cl- complaining about sores and fucking guns. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, actually yeah. Like there's there's bears since Tekken one. Like, yeah. And lasers since like Inception as well. Wait, what's the issue? I'd... Yeah, and and, and you your big freaking ogres as well. Like pretty much with mm-hmm. arms this fucking I long and ever snake arms, man. See tag two, you're getting hit by full crouch down forward too. Nah, no, it's like range four to f- fucking clean your legs. <laughs> yeah, and kicking and kicking kangaroos in the last in the last game as well. Yeah, so I'm like much like, like Roly Poly and all the stage. Yeah, exactly. If you there's nothing there was nothing here to complain about. This is yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can, I can definitely see some of the complaints that he's, he has. Um, he's maybe got a bit too much going on. I don't know. 
like because he's got like what he's got the knife he's got the pistol he's also got the big sword as well um, but then again noctis had like he was summoning swords <laughs> yeah I, I mean noctis noctis makes it a bit different because they're like a crossover character but yeah I, I get what you mean um like in terms of like moveset yeah, it's like, just that it's been in the game it's like tools, yeah. at this point we have to accept you know, have to just like you know deal with it luckily people did get what they didn't want which they wanted is no two d's at least for now for now Aye, aye, aye. on lunch. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't uh, jinx it, man. That, that, don't that, jinx that, it, man. man. Jack's, some of Jack's best matchups are two of these, so... I'm all, all I'm saying is that Kyoko Kusanagi trailer is going to be going to be sick. I'm looking forward to it. No, 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 no. Don't, you, don't, one, don't do this one. to me, man. Uh, do, you, do, you know, do you know I'm just so happy that I never have to see Eliza ever again? And if I have to, if I see her creeping up in DLC 2, 3, or 4, I, I can, I'm like, no. I mean, I was going to say, Eliza's a Tekken character, man. There's not many barriers for her to come back. No, so, she, no she, she isn't. No, she isn't. Well, come on. Well, well, we can argue this point all day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like on the subject, though, I guess, like, saying, like, what is and isn't Tekken, I think that ship sailed a long time ago, like you say. Um, mm. Like, Especially like after Tekken Six, man. Like you've got Lars and Alyssa and just all the different stuff going. Even on. some guys even, that even, are normal Tekken even, have some stupid moves that aren't traditionally Tekken. Like Jack has a grab which is unblockable, and he just lies down on top of you and shit like that. And it's like, or he has the one where he jumps up and skills you with your arse. Like bears used to be able to fart on you. <laughs> so <it's> like, <laughs> like, where does it end? Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's always been. It's kind of always been there. Mm. It's just been made even more so in this game 100 percent. so yeah now oh like all three of us and i think the general feedback was good um especially like you're saying you know so like we, the music like you had ost for both the stages are that music is I, I will maintain it to this day and i will fight anyone who who will disagree with me on it that was yeah. that's the best music in the game by far yeah, yeah I, I, I love it yeah i think yeah. it's class I'm i like the uh, machine dojo Power to state combination as well. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get some clean rips of the, the Paris stage and the uh, Rainer stage because like both sound really good. And like I, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what my favorite is. I, I think the like the tracks on the the beta test, like a lot of them were all right. They were good. Like I like, like Sanctum. Sanctum yeah. pretty hype. I, I think that will be really hype in tournament in a tense situation. I think Sanctum yeah. Sanctum's probably the standout. And I think especially like you mm. say like um, hearing that through like big event speakers is going to be like oh um, yeah, like um, imagine um, like you're supporting the, yeah yeah. 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 That's that's gonna be so hype. Like, let's say like Eunice is on the stage, we're all like standing to the speakers. That's <laughs> yeah, that's that, just, I'll, I'll be that, flossing. That 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 will carry through like an entire event hall. Like you've got like a multi game event, mm. like uh, like big ballroom or whatever. That's just gonna go through the whole thing, like like knocking people. I think down. that's what they were aiming for. Like when, when you hear the chairs as well with like the new announcer. Like I've got a friend who's like a casual Tekken fan, and he he always says to me, yeah, like, whenever like the. <laughs> Whenever the trailers start, I'm like, oh, go watch this trailer, see if you like this character. And he always goes, no, challenger. And he's like, oh, I love that. And I'm like, it's so like, bizarre that you, like, that's your favourite bit of the trailer, where I like all, like, the nerd stuff, you know? It's it's funny. It, yeah, it's funny that the um like, the announcer, like, is such, like, a mm. big part of like, the T8 marketing, but seemingly isn't in the game. I wonder, I wonder why that is. Like, maybe there'll be, like, an announcer pack for having their end, because, like, she's so. really popular. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. Proper. The other... The other thing that I, like I love I loved about that trailer was like um, the voice acting was immaculate as well. Like um, mm. I was like I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but on the um, on the evil thing they had the behind the scenes footage of the, mm. the voice actor and, yeah. and um, he like you could tell that he was really into it. Like he was really enjoying himself, and that was kind of really cool to see. Okay, and like he was just so I was going to say you talking about is it, is Vincent Cassell is it? Cast, yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah, super fam- famous, a uh, French actor, and like having a having some of that, like like level of notoriety in Tekken, like it'll it'll bring like new people in definitely. One hundred percent, and and like he, he like he was he was really like I was saying he was really enjoying himself while he was doing it, and like um, mm. he was talking about his favorite characters in, in Tekken, like he's talking about Eddie, like and he liked the Capoeira style and stuff like that, and that was really fun to see actually. Hi, now nah, Victor. Even I don't think I'll play Victor. I mean, saying that you never even know what happened. Give it a year's time, and I'll be like a diehard Victor man. You never know. But um, it, you can see like the effort and like the care put into like the newcomer stuff. Because I know there was a lot of like, I mean, I was new to T Seven, but there was a lot of um complaints about like T Seven newcomers being a bit, being a bit bland and not being like that really like fleshed out. I guess. I don't know. One thing I will say, I don't think that's the case uh, anymore. 
Because Azadena wasn't the simplest. She has a lot of, like, this uniqueness to her, you know? But um, same with these two other characters. Like, Victor has what... I think he has maybe two stances that people were saying. And he's got a stance at auto low parry. Like, that's a skill still on, on its own. Yeah, He's got okay clearly from his grab. It's the same as Raven's. So... All these uniqueness about the characters, then there's Reyna. Reyna arguably might have stance as well. Like you see at the start of the trailer, you know, Reyna's walking back and stuff. And I think, does the uh, new style karate and then goes into Mishima style. Yeah, and that's that's an interesting thing to keep in mind because, like, because, um, like, this, you can say, oh, there's only three newcomers, whatever, but they're like mm. proper fleshed out in terms of like. That's what I mean, like, though. None of them seem them, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're pick up and play any. Oh, well, maybe Victor or something, but like maybe, maybe they all are to a degree. But yeah. I mean, like. To actually compete where the other ones were. Like, yeah. um, I don't know, I'm trying to use the example Claudio. Anyone can play Claudio. Anyone can pick up Claudio. Mm. You know, it's not like if someone's doing World Run 2, you're not going, oh my God, you know, like my grand can do World Run 2. But maybe like some nuances way, uh, like some electric combos or something with Reina, you know, my grand can't do that shit. Mm. So, yeah, proper cool. Yeah. And that rain that Reina trailer was, uh, I really like, see, like as soon as they showed the electric. I, I got so hyped. I was like, I was, I was like mind blown at that point. I was like, holy oh, shit! Sure. <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, holy. Crap. I mean, we all, we all, we all kind of saw it all coming in the back of our mm. minds, but see what actually happened. That's when the hypeness just kicked in. I was like that with the heat smash, and everyone's on the same boat. Everyone agrees it's the best one. Oh, like, easily, yeah. They need yeah, to yeah. do more of this stuff, like the Ask a Rager, the heat smash, like these kind of super impactful wind punches. Mm-hmm. Like everyone loves it. I don't know why, like. It's just these two characters now. Like, they need, have they brought more of that kind of stuff into the game? Same with Paul, where his like it's the same kind of deal. Like, he punches someone that hard, you know, his arm, like, uh, what do you call it, sleeve rips off or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like people love this, like, anime style, like, full throttle punching. Yeah. I was going to say, because, um, like, I think, like, I, I sort of, obviously, because of, like, the leaks, like, I knew, I knew vaguely what Reina was going to be like. And I was kind of mm-hmm. hoping for. Like, there's lots of like oh how many Hihachi moves is she gonna have how many kazumi moves is she gonna have and and like selfishly like me being a kazumi player like i know she's not coming back i'm kind of like oh well, i kind of hope she has a lot of kazumi stuff but seeing like the direction they've taken with her and like she's a lot more unique and like i knew like i knew um, um like former karate brought in like you say um looks very like very different while still incorporating like a lot of Hihachi stuff since he's not here anymore and i'm mm. and I, I i was always safe like with t8 and that i had like a gin like i've got gin like i'll play gin He'll probably be my main, um, for now anyway. Again, in a year, who knows? Fucking, I'll probably be a Zaf main. Who fucking knows? Um, hopefully, hopefully not. not. Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, no. Like after the Rainer trailer, man. Like I, I kind of knew I was gonna want to try her out anyway, because like what we knew. But especially like after seeing the trailer, um, yeah, man. This I'm looking forward to trying this character. I think when the game comes out, she'll be the one I'll start off with and see, like what's going on. Well. I think a good point to make is, and I don't think it's incorrect either, and it's obviously just speculation, but looking at the Heat Smash, looking at her animations and stuff like that, I think she's the character they've put the most time into mm. out of everyone. Like some characters they might have caught, may have took a wee bit of shortcuts with. For example, Jack's Heat Smash got a new animation. They might have not put so much time and effort into Jack 8 and then went back into him and said, listen, we've got a bit of time. Let's improve this animation. Let's improve this, which I might do with some other character before launch, you know. But when it comes to, um, I, like, I'm trying to think of an example, Jim, Jim's Rajar. Jim's Rajar is pretty shit. He just punches you. He flies across the screen. Yeah, think, so they probably yeah. sacrificed that time to be like, right, let's make Reina look quality. Yeah, I think I think you can you can tell them, um, like, when, probably when they were starting T8, they probably started off with Jin and Kazuya, and they were like the first characters that got like properly fleshed out and built. Yeah, and, like Jin, Jin's Rage Art stinks of like being the first one they did because it is, <laughs> it's pretty. I mean, I'm a Jin main man, and I, I like Jin and everything, but yeah, it's pretty whack. It, like it's oh, it's, 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 it's so bad. It's like yeah. it's like Nina and Tekken Seven. No one likes that Rage Art. You her Karan is you a million times, and then she snaps <laughs> her leg or something. Oh yeah. wow, you know. Yeah, I'm yeah, but, so sore. Yeah, but then you see the, the characters are likely developed later, which is the newcomers. Like Reyna, and again, like you say, that heat smash is like easily the best one in the game. Like, oh yeah, of, like by the look mm-hmm. of it, and just like a lot of the like the general animations and um like and a lot of stuff like the cutscenes, like the intros, like the one against Kazia, like um yeah, like the depth yeah. of field and stuff they've got put on it. Yeah, like they they put some mad time into it. And same with her, whatever you call it, like her 
not omen, but you know what I mean, like her dragon punch and to kick. Mm. Um, the animation on that is also so sick. Like it's yeah. just like the angles are cutting for it, but they're doing that with more moves. Like like the Jack one's a good example. There's I don't I, I'm poor examples, but maybe I know King had some new animations as well with like the giant swing grab and stuff. It's like it's really cool to see that they're like still building upon some of this stuff. Well, they don't they don't need to do that. Like there's no one's ever complained and said giant swing looks shit. But now that we're seeing it look ten times better, it's so cool. It's like proper, like big budget. Yeah, I, I think T eight is like it's been definitely been given that um that extra budget from like the success of T seven from well it did, mm. especially when you look at how T seven started from like not a lot alpha. Well, that was going to be the final game. Yeah, the Tekken Tag Two had horrible sales, and the game wasn't enjoyed competitively by a lot of people. Mm. Like I liked the characters in that game. But the game was super, super difficult. A lot of players who play this game, like half the competitive player base, would not survive in tag two. It's garmless. Like, I know no one, no wonder, man. Again. Yeah, <laughs> horrible. Like some of the stuff that's in like, and and the thing is too, it never got patched. The game came out and that was it for years. It just got left. Like, can you imagine that? Like Eddie back one four is like super broken, and they just left that shit. And that's all she wrote. It's insane. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're definitely spoiled these days. Yeah, I, I do wonder how quick they'll be to like hop on changes for TA. That'll be a fun. Uh, I think there'll be a lot of them initially, and then they'll slow down. Yeah, I mean it'll be it'll probably be like T Seven console release when like what there was like a Nina like Infinite on Forgotten Realm within like a week that was found <laughs> and got patched out because because like T it came out like a month or so before Evil right, and they're like they were in a rush like oh fuck we need to fix this before. Yeah, I mean that. And, like yeah, it makes you wonder how much is gonna happen like is gonna happen for T Eight like that, but. I mean, the betas have been solid. I've not seen anything that bad, I don't think. I think people like, are saying about these uh, grabs, you know, launching yeah. power crushes. Probably yeah. that yeah. is the main one. Mm. Um, hopefully some balance adjustments for some characters. Like, some characters, like, I, I'm I'm planning on co-maining June, but she is, you know, unbelievably strong. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a tone down of her and a couple other selected characters. Um, but same with a buff to like so maybe Asuka like she got so gutted for any reason so it'll be interesting yeah um, aye I mean we're like two months away now eh it's not even not even that far it's fun to think like yeah it's been I suppose it's been like a lot of the stuff happening conflating it's like what we had Neutral Mania like the final T final big T7 event in Scotland mm. also like the reveal of the last character for T8 like we're nearly there and it's it's gonna be very like I, I can't wait to see what happens. Like it's gonna be good. Like, having, having like all the new all the new players come in, all the, like a lot of old heads showing up that haven't been in a while. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be sick, man. I'm looking forward to it. It is crazy, uh, like about how us three and a lot of people in the scene all now know each other at the start of a game. Like yeah. start taking seven, we didn't know who we were. Like uh, we went to the same first tournament together and. We didn't speak. <laughs> we had no it's, idea who each other I were. Didn't know anybody. I I, I was lucky. Yeah. That I went to I went to hype spot in six, which was the there was a T7 mm-hmm. pre-release, and I went with a few like friends from high school because I was a Street Fighter player, and they were just like, mm-hmm. oh, well, we we'll go with you, but we like we like Tekken, like like casuals, like they play Tekken casually, like whatever they're just yeah. talking about. I entered it for a laugh, and yeah, from there it was just I had to stick to it, and it's like you say, like I think most of like the active Tekken Seven players, like Tekken players in Scotland, were there. But they just didn't know each other. Well, I spoke yeah. to some people, and I actually played like Skull Panda. Like, was he third in the leaderboard right now? So, yeah. Yeah. like, I played him in tournament that day. But it's like it is insane now that we know people on first name basis. We, when we start, like, we all started playing Tekken Seven. It's not like we were like, oh, we can, we were, like, we're excited to play the game, but we didn't really have like people to go out of our way to play it with and stuff like that. Like, just from like a friend's perspective and i think a lot of people are on the same boat um with how because of the success of the game the game's been a big game it's been one of the better fighting games of its time so you know a lot of people aren't like going to pick up Tekken 8 on their own and even like the small changes like i love how it's crossplay like i love how i can talk to somebody casually who isn't into Tekken and they can say oh but i play on playstation or oh, i play on you know xbox um so you play on your PC, and I'll be like, "Yeah, but it's crossplay. But like, there's no problems." And I played crossplay against Kaizoku Lars in Germany, and we're on like 20 AMS, and it was like amazing. Like the mm-hmm. set was quality, and there was no complaints either way. Yeah, I think like, like in terms of like a product and like 
like just in like that accessibility like you're saying it's definitely like going like going as far as it can to like introduce a lot of new people in i think like, mm. it's like you say seven is like probably the biggest is it, is it the best selling tekken now i think it is right i think like, it, it is yeah. i think it is because it was free for the longest yeah. time and then like seven's a key well it's the most competitive it's the mo- it's the biggest game because like Tekken 3, no, like, I'm, apart from, like, a select few, like, these tournaments, like, if someone's an Evo 3 champ, man, how many, what are the numbers? There will not be comparable. There will not even be over 100. Yeah. So, like, I've won hey. bigger Tekken 7 tournaments than Tekken 3 champions have. There, there's definitely, there's definitely, like, a big goal in this mm-hmm. one, in, in this in this Tekken alone. Um, I don't know what it was like in Tekken 3, but Tekken 7 seems to, like, have picked up. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm there. You know, this is Froze. Froze in time. <laughs> um, okay, I, rest in peace. Yeah. No, he'll be, he'll be back. He'll be back. It's probably just a wee car. That's right? hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I was playing a game the other day, man, and my model was just like walking and it's like someone disconnected. Oh, man. Shit cracks me up. Oh, so, he's back. Comment, okay, he's back. I was going to say, we could, uh, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Get, edited, like, get, the, get the T7 comment up like when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> a 2% disconnection, mate. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, he's got. Uh, was he? Get, do you get, like the yellow name? Is it or whatever? Like if you're like, if you yeah. Too many times. Yeah, yeah. Oh my so, God. so Eunice, you you were talking all this stuff about Victor. How you like the chair? Are you going to try and pick him up, or are you interested in natural character? I'm definitely interested in playing him for sure. Like I'm nice. definitely really interested in playing him. And I, I just want this as well, like casually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I do enjoy playing, but not this is can get boring I mean, like, after a while. There'll be elements in Octus and Victor, you know, so mm-hmm. there'll be, like, but, transferable skills. Yeah, Noctis can get boring after a while, but see, for, for Victor, he seems a lot more fleshed out, I guess. And, I um, mm-hmm. and uh, so, and I just want to play stage, basically. And that, that's, <laughs> that's really all I want. Yeah. And I just yeah, want the I music. Like I've, been, I've, been, I've been looking all over YouTube for the music uh, for that stage, and then, like, you can only get samples and stuff like that, and, um, well, wait, man, like two weeks before Tekken 8 comes out, they'll be up there because there'll be a review copy and someone will rip that 100. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's another thing. If there's a beta, if there's another beta, like if they do like one more open beta with like everyone in it, then that might be the way to get it. And I, I keep I, forgetting that will be a possibility, right? Like, yeah, of it, another beta. I, I mean, like, a lot of people have been assuming it's like a definite thing, but I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't I've know been... either. Like, I, I, it hasn't crossed my mind until you said it right here. Yeah, like, no, that is an interesting subject. Yeah, because I've been thinking that, like, typically, I, f- I think Street Fighter was like this as well, where they do a really, a really closed off beta, and then one that's slightly more open, where like most people who applied got in, and then open one like a few weeks or a month before it comes out. Yeah. So I think like, well, it comes out pretty much at the end of January. So yeah, yeah. A, last last week of January. Yeah, I mean, there's maybe too much going on, like having the beta, what, like right next to TBT TBT finals. Maybe. It's weird, though, because we just don't know. Maybe they'll do it right after the finals, so maybe they'll go, here's the finals, hope you enjoyed that, here's the beta. Oh, yeah, they, they do the they do the Armour King and Marduk thing tomorrow, like... I, <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was, that was cool. wild. That was I, mean, wild. I love Armour King as well. I've got well, my Armour King tattoo here, so I was like, oh, yeah. hell yes. I love it. Oh, man. Um, I, I, I will probably have another episode before TBC finals, but that's going to be fun to see. Uh... Yeah, man, a lot to look forward to. A lot to look forward to. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not to think about like um, just in the game. Like the game is like like people keep talking about how the game's so different, but it's like even players that I felt like seasoned players when watching the Evil Showcase are playing high level players during the beta. There's so many things like in Tekken Eight that's so deep. Like I mean, Air is talking about like years ago and Tag Two about how. It's really like you know a shark tank taking the so deep the game. There's yeah. so much things that nobody will ever know. Like for example, um, I could go to somebody. Uh, let's say like Joker. I could go to Joker and ask him about a Nina input that he's probably never heard of. That's not because he doesn't know knowledge. That's just because the game has all this information that not everybody can know. Like I always find it funny too when like see you're sitting next, like see commentators like a pet peeve, and then they <laughs> they go. Uh, Oh yeah, what's the frames on this? And then I mean, one time I was like an uh, American commentator, and he's like, "I'm not practice mode." <laughs> like, how was that though? It's like, it's like so funny, you know? It's like, it's like, man, it's like it's so true. Like, how we can't know everything. Like, I, I love that about the game, and I think with the heat system and like even chip damage, and there's going to be these like situations where you're really like somewhat checkmated in this game compared to all these other Tekken games. It's going to be really like bizarre to see how the meta shifts and stuff and see like 
who values what in the system. And I think it's going to be really interesting to watch it develop uh, like across the world in different scenes mm -hmm. at the same Absolutely. time because the release is universal for everyone. It's uh, it must be the first Tekken where like it's coming out in the same. Uh, it everywhere. must be. It yeah. must be. It's first Tekken that matters. No, none of this. None of this arcade like for a year, like FR for a year, and then seven yeah. console release. Like yeah. Well, since six onwards in the West, it's been competitive for Tekken mainly. It wasn't as competitive beforehand like taking five beforehand you know in the waste it wasn't as big even but, yeah even in seven like the catch-up like you could you could see the difference like i remember the first TWT finals like i was a scrub back then but you could like see mm -hmm. you could tell the like there was obviously a head start because they had the arcade well, for that's, years yeah. like well you'd look back and like older tournaments in 2017 2018 and if somebody from europe was playing against like a korean you'd automatically just assume as much as you want to rip from they're losing you know, you'd be like, all right, they're going to lose. Like, that's it. Like, it, was, it was just, it was the odds and the experience was so high. But nowadays, like, Joker's a great example. He plays against Koreans and he bodies them. And it's like, you know, it's, it's anyone's game now. You know, we're completely, like, in some aspects, we've even the playing field. Like, the, this Tekken World Tour Finals and the EU Cup and whatnot, you, know, you can't predict who's going to win these things anymore. Well, even look at some of the people that have made it. You can't predict that some of the people, like, Tibby Tano. One at the start, and this is like an amazing show, like amazing, like he completely earned his spot more so than most people on that list, even people above him. But um, nobody at the start would have thought that he would have qualified, maybe including himself. But he's, you know, he's done it. He's made the achievement. So stuff like that is so like exciting. Yeah, I think like, I mean, T T Seven, you can maybe argue, went on like a few more years, maybe than they were planning for because of like the pandemic and everything. But I think yeah. it's going to be. Getting to see how a lot all culminates, and I, like, I think isn't... that was a good thing. Though. I think that was a good thing though because they got more time to develop the game even better. I feel like, see, when it comes to fighting games, I feel like the more time they put into it, the better it becomes. Because like, see, like you go, you got games like FIFA and Call of Duty and all that, like all the popular games, and they could they throw out games like every year, and because they throw it every year, usually the game doesn't feel that different to before. You know what I mean? And it feels like they might as well have just done a patch update or something like that. Whereas, see, the fighting games, the longer you take to develop them, the, the, the better they become. Even if the demand is so high and people are wanting it now, 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 it's better just to take your time because then everybody will be completely satisfied with the end product. Yeah. And the amount of work that's been put in. Like, here's a fun thing. Imagine showing somebody uh, from 2016 what T7's like now. Like they see like the previews of the arcade release with like twelve fucking characters, like barely any changes. It looks pretty much just like tag two, and you compare it to like what T sevens ended up being, like fifty odd characters. Like it's it shows you like that like that extra development time, and like you say, like the ability you now to like have seasons and all these balance patches and everything. And well, the very very original Tekken Seven didn't have our main units. They weren't in the game at all. Because so, was a boss yeah. character, wasn't she? She wasn't even playable. I don't think. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm yeah. sure it was just Karina and Sheen. Pretty yeah. sure newcomers, that was it. Yeah. So, yeah, even but Jack, he's a stable. He wasn't in the game. Mm -hmm. Insane. Yeah, and then like you compare, like, and even then you compare like the like T7, like the first version of T7, which is arcade version, compared to what T8 is going to be when it comes out. Like 32 characters, like three new newcomers to have, like all this stuff. Like, mm. yeah, it's definitely it's definitely going to be like enticing for like a lot of like returning Tekken players and like new players to pick it up. And I think, yeah, because like T7 did really well, but I think a lot of people who got into T7 will be carrying on to T8 and seeing how the scene develops from there all at the same time. It's going to be sick to see, definitely. Yeah, I, I really do hope that people from other fighting games will get a bit more into Tekken because I feel like Tekken really struggles with that in particular, and they're not changing that either. They're not catering to, well, they are and aren't. Like, they do some things for accessibility and stuff, but the actual game is like, it's hard to get into if you wanted, you know, start to do well and stuff but i don't think there's anything you can do at the core because of there's like other things to consider like you know the lateral movement for example is a huge one like uh it, a lot of people say to me um well get into tech and to play other fighting games because i've asked them I'm like why the hell don't you play it like you're good at your game you know tech and like the scottish players you know tech is the game for scotland why are you not playing it and they're like oh i don't like round start because you're right in someone's face or oh, i don't like execution uh, execution for movement you know, stuff like that. And you try and break it down, like, you're overvaluing certain things, you know, like, XYZ beats this, XYZ beats this, you know, but I think, like, 
the game is quite intimidating for people. But it, well, the, thing oh, is, hmm? the thing is, as well, like, see, that, that, thing, that stuff takes time and effort to put in. Like, someone once said that Tekken is like one of those games where you have to devote everything into. Do you know what I mean? You can't play mm-hmm. another, another set of games and then play Tekken on the side and expect to be really good at it. Like, you have to put everything you can, because even you guys said it yourselves, right? You guys said it's like, um, it's like a game with all sorts of layers. There's always right. information that people don't know. So you're having to, to play Street Fighter, and then on top of that, play a big layered up game like Tekken on top of that. That's like, that's a lot for anyone to ask. Mm-hmm. Even, even, even the best fighting game player in the world, Sonic Fox, he, he's one in, Sonic, he's one in them. Street Fighter is one in them. Mortal Kombat, he's one in, uh, Skull Girls, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. There's a reason why he's never won Tekken. There's a reason for that, and because he knows himself, there's a huge amount of information that he'd have to pick up. I know. Um, well, there's, that's it. Like people can just abuse one thing against them, and it's over. Like, um, <laughs> like you're saying, like in Street Fighter or something like that, it's so much easier to handle a loss. I think because you focus on two things, like oh. I wasn't dealing with this with my character, and I wasn't maybe utilizing this move out of ten moves. But in Tekken, it's like, what the what the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> like, like there's not a clear cut answer a lot of the time. You, like, you just don't know. Like, mm. you're like, why did that happen to me then? But it never happens now. Or you know, it's like the game is like insane. Like how deep it is. Mm. But, um, there's there's a reason why that's the only game you can play when you're playing competitively. There's 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 no other way around it. You can't. Devote two games and then play one, play Tekken on the side and expect to do well. You can't. Mm. It's never I'm been Lesha done. Wesley. <laughs> yeah, unless Lesha, Lesha Wesley, uh, just playing more. The boy kid wonder. Yeah. What, what was it? What was he playing? That? I think he was last before Edinburgh or before RDE. He was playing Crash Team Rumble. <laughs> he shows up. Oh yes. <laughs> like, yeah, hadn't that's played Tekken right. for like hadn't, hadn't played Tekken for like a month and then just shows up and bodies everyone. Uh, ah, he's he, he's a he's an outlier. I would say definitely. Um, mm. Yeah. I know, because, like, when I got, I got, so I got in the fine games of Street Fighter, and then I played Tekken, and I was like, Tekken was my main game, and I was trying to buy all these, like, new games that were coming out, and, like, I played them for, like, f- like five, ten hours, not really get into them, wouldn't progress in them, wouldn't progress in Tekken, like, it's tough to, like, sp- like, spread yourself out with that kind of thing, like, especially mm-hmm. if you're wanting to, like, improve and do well in tournament. Um, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, but at the same time, like, um, the game is also rewarding to win at because you know that winnings aren't, like, if you beat somebody good, it wasn't given to you. Like, you had to earn it. And that goes for, like, 90% of the characters. Yeah, there's some exceptions to the rules, but, you know, mm-hmm. none of us play characters that are like that. But, yeah, there isn't a feeling like it when you definitely surprise yourself or whatever. It's quality. Mm-hmm. Aye, it'll be very, uh, um, again, we were talking about No Man's Land, the, which is, like, the Inverness tournament that's going to be like the launch tournament for Scotland, pretty much. Like, mm. I, it, we're gonna be. It, it, you can't really call who's gonna win it. Like, you don't know. Like, it's Jack ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> no chance, man. You're worth no day. Oh man. Bye. I think, I think uh, you're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. We, we, we might. We might so be, I was gonna, We might well be going up, right? Maybe. See. Maybe. Well, I'm. I, I'll, I'll definitely go up. to go here. Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll definitely go up. Yeah. yeah right, and and even. Best. If if not that, there'll be many more like events like close uh, close to launch. Um, I got to like obviously Glasgow's going to be doing something most likely. Um, I think Rushdown and Edinburgh they'll be doing a lot of stuff. Um, just getting to see the scene pop off, man. Other than all the people coming back and newcomers showing up and yeah. Well, that's it. And something to mention for people who aren't Scottish. Um, as you can see, one of our players has made it into the EU Cup. We definitely have got the competition, so we have a fancy, you know. The champ. Coming up and testing yourself the against the competition, then feel free to. Like we, we'd love to have people up. We're a super close knit, friendly community. Um, always a good atmosphere. It's one of those. I um, haven't heard anybody come up who's ever bad mouthed the situation or been like, "Oh, I wish I didn't," or whatever. That you know, I never exist. And I imagine it'll be even better. We take an eight, and even like now that. You know the crossplay thing's been removed. You can come up, play us, and then if you want to play against us, like online or whatever, I'm sure you can because that's that's not an issue anymore. So yeah, even more the reason. Mm-hmm. And even the, the the crossplay is like a fun thing to touch on because like you had them for the longest time. You had the split of like like obviously PlayStation players and PC players, mm-hmm. but now easily they can just play each other and practice. Like it's fine. So um, 
Well, that's it. Well, some, that's what I mean. If someone comes up and they play PlayStation and then let's say they lose to someone or they beat someone or whatever, they make a friend and then they're like, oh, that's that's a shame. Well, we're on different platforms. It just doesn't exist. It's so cool. Aye. Um, it's going to be a good one for sure. The, the, the event on 26th and whatever future events come up uh, competitively for TA is going to be it's going to be fun to watch. I'm especially excited to see how the UK itself does in terms of TA, like who will be at the top and who will be shuffled out a bit. Oh yeah, because you know, like the the like the power scale of like English players and Scottish players and stuff is really insane. Like the players who are the best right now in the countries were not the best at the start of Tekken Seven. Mm. So yeah, definitely am um, going to be really interesting to see. Yeah, and I think since, since like also when the game comes out, it'll be like the freshest. It'll be it'll be hot. Like a lot of the scenes will be running it. Um, mm. You'll be seeing like a lot of people traveling because like, because there'll be a lot of people who want to like prove themselves. You know, like like maybe English players will come up to come up to Scotland. Scottish players will go down to England. Some over in Ireland, Wales, if they have any events, like I think they will do. Um, but they'll be like all That's the scenes, good. all the scenes will be popping off. Like it'll be like interesting to see, definitely. Um, yeah. We will get we'll get some new blood. Yeah, man. That is that is interesting as well. It'll be like cool to see if there's people who are good at other games that might get into Tekken Eight. Because mm. that happens. Like there's um, like Peace Man is good at other games. He wasn't just like when he got into Tekken, he didn't play the play. He wasn't bad at the start. He was always like quote unquote good. He always knew how to win. He always knew like risk award. So there'll be people like that as well. People grading other games during lockdown to get into tech and they automatically start being really good. Mm-hmm. So it'll be cool to see. Yeah, I think I think we're definitely in a time now where like a lot of them, like people will try everything. You know, like there won't be people like, oh, I only play this game. I'm not gonna, I don't want to play that stuff. You know, mm-hmm. um, you always hear like the famous thing as well, where people are like, there's so much resources now to get good. Like you're you're never like neglected of your answer. You, like you, when you need you need it or whatever, and even like Metafy or something. Yeah, you are paying for a service, but some of that is like so crucial if you're like new to a game you want to get good quick like hearing this experience firsthand from like a pro player or whatever it's insane yeah well, even even like starting levels like a lot of like local communities like it's not even that you need to like come to locals and have somebody like tell you like to your face or whatever you just show up mm. in like whatever community discord and there'll be like no there'll be like no shortage of people who will come in and like help you and like show you the ropes and everything and, 100% well that's what happened to myself and you know people are like watching this podcast and like wanting to hear uh we tell you a bit of backstory but when i got into tekken and i wanted to improve um my player a local who want, who played the same character as me went out his way to make a full spreadsheet and made like a graphic and everything of use this move in x situation use this move in y situation and stuff like that and people will do things like that and it's like it's because we don't like i feel like people like in fighting games they don't see that as like a chore or anything or like a task because it's like I think a lot of people are excited to share their knowledge or excited to get people into the game because, you know, they're passionate about it, they like speaking about it. So, yeah, it's definitely yeah. like something people shouldn't shy away from if they want to like get more into the game. That's, that's the kind of roundabout similar to how I got into the game. Uh, very much I came, I came into a local one day, Max XP, and uh, I mean, that's where I met Schmidt for the first time. Mm. And uh, he pretty much showed me a uh, couple of stuff I want to do. But uh, I, I went to w, W3D locals every Wednesday and I met Jason there and Kerberry and they pretty much showed me the ropes on how to, you know, properly play the game, how to win with the characters and whatnot, you know what I mean? So yeah, there, there is definitely people here to show you the ropes. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they date all the way back to Tekken 6 days. Oh yeah, then, like some, some scenes are divided, but we're not like that at all. No. And we shouldn't be like that because, like, Oh, Germany, no, no, no. I, I, consider, I consider Germany the best scene in the EU for mm. Tekken because they are closely knit together and they're not they're not divisive like the, like we are in the UK and mm. they're a lot they're they're close knit community and every single one of their players I've seen is at least is at least can t- at least can hit Tekken God for sure on the on mm. the right the best way I can describe it. And so many great players out there, and that's because they all they all improve each other and they play online and they play together. 
Well, yeah, some some players in some communities, yeah, some people might have an ego or some people might not see the point or whatever, but, you know, it doesn't, yeah, like you're saying, like Scotland, Germany, you know, certain countries, you know, they don't have that, but even if you do, like, there is, like, communities and stuff like that, but, you know, Tekken's a game you can get good at on your own as well. It's really interesting. Like, there's so, you could talk about, like, Tekken as its whole, like, yeah. or you can talk about, like, stuff like that like there's numerous examples of people getting good on their own there's examples of me and you you know where people community figures have said listen this is how this is how you should look at xyz and we've got help but um now nah, it's, it's crazy like there'll be like uh, a lot more stories in that with the next game i mean you, you can get you can get far like on your own that's true but mm. without without there to you'll always have that loss or you won't be able to win a tournament or you're close but you're not there you'll still need that somebody to say, okay, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you need to do next time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you can, some people can only, some people don't know the options that you're even losing to or mm-hmm. don't know that if you're relying on something, that that also has other options around it of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I, I can't, I, I've said it, I, I've blocked out how many times I've said it, but I'm, I really cannot wait for Tate to come out. One, just as like, I can't wait to play it. Having all the new characters, seeing what's all different, and everything, and then having that event like a day after it comes out as well, just like seeing all the new stuff. Like people will be dropping combos, they won't know stuff. Like it's gonna be such a laugh, man. It's gonna be so funny. Trust me, no, no one's dropping combos in this case. I promise you, no one's dropping combos in this game. I, I think a lot of people will. I don't know. Like, it, it Arsene and Ash was going to get the Walking versions. She might. Oh yeah. How many ever spent? He, he's not that good for reason. <laughs> oh man, aye, nah, I, I can't, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's probably a good t- time to wrap up. I don't think there's anything else we need to cover. Um, a lot coming on recently. A lot to coming up soon. Uh, mm. I seen Neutral Mania gone. Uh, that's T seven. Well, mostly done and dusted. We'll maybe have one more event in Scotland. I don't know. Maybe. I think I think we're planning one in Edinburgh. So we're talking about that probably. Yeah. So keep an eye out on that, guys. If you end up seeing that. Alright, and as we say, No Man's Land, probably the first event in Scotland, up in Inverness on the Saturday, that'll be good. Um, but aye, I guess we can just call out there. Uh, congrats again to the Dusty mm-hmm. the Champ, repping us in the EU Cup, that's going to be sick. Can't nah, we're all that. proud. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, I appreciate that guys. So yeah, anybody that's Scottish is into tech and are interested in Scottish tech, and, you know, show your support in the chat 100%. Mm-hmm. Grinding yeah. it with a character that's underrepresented as well, so um, very exciting. So it's not going to be the same old characters you're going to see. Yeah, I'm also cooking up something on the side. Oh, clearly, shut, shut the stream down. We don't want people to know. We don't want people to know. Don't, don't, don't give away, man. <laughs> Guy, the Scottish secrets, man. Aye, tell us there, tell us there. <laughs> Aye, nah, that's a. Uh, I think maybe by the time we do and we come back for another episode, it might be coming, come and gone. I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all that later. Aye, I think uh, hour and a half good. Last time we maybe ran on a bit over with the all the tier list talk. None of that today. Uh, maybe next time maybe we'll talk about some other stuff. Yeah, I'm lucky because they're your players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but aye, I think uh, it's a good one. Thanks everyone for joining again. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. We appreciate that. Aye, we'll thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jack, thanks again for the graphics and the logo. We're all sick. Aye, of course, thank of you. course. Um, Love muscle logo. It. Yeah, I appreciate oh, the feedback. Uh, I know a lot of people have a uh, lot of positive feedback, you know. So, mm. aye, definitely a good start to episode one. Aye, nice. Episode one. E- episode two, but we'll just call it one. We'll call it one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode, episode, episode one, one. official. Episode, episode one. one. Yeah. Um, thank you, uh, the last day as well, for joining, as always. Um, yeah, of congrats, course. No congrats yet again. Looking forward to seeing the <laughs> games and all that. And uh, I thank you. Bolt's well, Bull, gone already. He was uh, yet to leave early, but thanks for him for coming. Now the well. cameo. Who's Bolt? <laughs> you wouldn't say that to his face, would you? No, I would. My pipe down. Aye, uh, keyboard warrior. Aye. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, aye. So thanks to everyone who joined in chat as well. I think I got a few follows. I think I got a sub as well. Thanks. Oof. Thanks, Ad Serium, Josh. Shout outs. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on with my ads, but I didn't mean to look into that. But anyway, uh, aye. Who's, who's Ad Serium? Josh. Josh. Who's Josh? Uh, man, somebody ban this guy. Somebody, somebody shoot this guy, man. He doesn't know. Oh, God. Um, aye. Is it not 
Yeah. Is it ISMV? Yes. Yes. Ah, but somebody nicked his name on Twitch. He changed it and then he wanted it back. And someone no, I'm taking it. the piss. I'm taking the piss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have some lore to that, man. Uh, right, okay. All right, I think we've. I think I've maybe extended this a bit longer than I should have. So, thanks. Hi, right, man. You're terrible at saying goodbyes, man. You know, this, I, is, I, this is you on the phone. No, no, nah, you, 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 hang on, nah, you, you hang on. You hang on. You hang on. <laughs> Right. No, no, you're a great kister. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, see you next episode soon. I don't know, two, two to three weeks is usually a good, a uh, good thing. But hi, right. thanks everyone for coming through. Send you and a bit gangsters. Send you away to Adam. Say hi, Tom, for us. Please check my uh, metify metify dot gg slash jack ninety nine for the best jack tips in Europe. Thanks. Right. You watching? And uh, hi, see you later on. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Right.